In this fun game, look for a color in my eyes. This will help you keep eye contact with me. It's a rapid-paced, difficult world for a lot of kids. And to have a robot who can teach these kinds of skills to kids on the spectrum, it's a dream come true. Are you Action. ready? Action! My son, Ethan, has autism. He was diagnosed at two years old. He had some developmental delays, um, and he was having some behavioral issues. He had trouble initiating friendships with other kids. He was struggling, you know, with how to express himself. Can you listen with your mouth? Yes. Your mouth should not be talking or making any sound when the speaker is singing. I see him now. It's remarkable. Interacting with Chris was the start of all of that for him. So Movia Robotics is a collaborative robotics company. We write software and build systems to help people and robots work together. I was doing research in social robotics and my wife, who's a school teacher, was telling me about the high incidence of children with autism who are appearing in her classes and how there weren't really good tools for working with them. And I did some research and found that at several institutions they were having success using robots with children with autism. And so we applied that to our interactions with the robot and the children. We're really trying to help these children get the skills that can change their quality of life. Are you ready? With kids on the spectrum, visuals are always, you know, really effective. Keep your eyes focused on me. A robot, because it's a robot, first and foremost, there's the cool factor. But more than that, there isn't any judgment in the uh, robot's voice. That really erases so much of this sort of anxiety that kids feel around the social communication piece. Do you see the color yet? Excellent. You paid close attention to the eye color. When they're able to initiate with the robot because they feel non-threatened, they're able to carry that over into the classroom where they start to initiate things like even raising their hand to ask a question or to ask for help, which sometimes can be the difference between a child who's accessible to the curriculum and a child who isn't. Well, based on the child in question, it could be social skills that they're missing, it could be communication skills, uh, all the way through ac academics. And what we try to do is provide extensive content and curriculum through the robot that provides skills to all of those. Copy me. My turn. It could be simple things like beat a drum. It could be more complex things like learning a math lesson or doing ABCs, depending on the age of the child. Give me a high five, buddy. For me, it's hugely gratifying because I see those kids carry those skills from those sessions, not only into the classroom, but in, in the community and at home, which is really important. I mean, these are life skills, you know, these aren't just school skills. Are you having a good day? Yes. What are you learning about today? Um, I was learning about character traits, and I read a book called The Recess Queen. As a mom, you want to see your children flourish and, and be able to have friends and to be able to feel great about going into school and being in social situations. And to see him be able to do that, it's extraordinary.